in another catalogue, Henry Kohlenberg uh, characterised your work as being about monumentality, painterly vigour, and bold contrasts of colour. Is that a good description of your work? Um, it's, it's good as any. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know whether my work is like that, but it's pretty nice compliment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know I don't. I can't. I can't. Um, uh, I can't. Well, you know, that's what Hendrick saw, which is good. <laughs> well, I've got another quote here from Hendrick Kohlenberg as well, which I'll ask you to respond to. In, in the same essay, he talks about reconstructed memory as a recurrent feature of your work. So I'm wondering whether the imagery in your work, how much of that is direct observation and how much of it is a kind of imaginative expansion of what, on what you've seen? Well, I think that's a good description because that painting there, again, is uh, 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 reconstructed at 83 of what I was doing in 48. Mm -hmm. uh, so it becomes a picture, but I know Sydney as well as Paris that uh, I don't go and draw, well I've drawn the Slat Street with the Central Station many times, but I don't draw it to make a picture. It's, uh, I reconstruct the thing. But, but words are funny things, aren't they? They can be uh, interpreted so many different ways. Uh, when this interview is finished, I remember all the artists that influenced me. Just talking like this, it's hard to today. But I think uh, I've been a loner all my life as far as the art world. And only when I had to teach did I get to know artists. Uh, and, uh, but that's probably because at full-time art school, artists tend to pick up a peer group that's their friends for life. And I didn't have that, so I, I uh, didn't know uh, that many artists. And